Well, spelt is an ancient grain, probably 9,000 years old. And in fact, after we'd started farming, we found that it had been grown 3,000 years ago in the Bronze and Iron Ages. And it was found in the Gastonbury Lake Village in carbonized bread loaves or leavened bread. If you think of the time-honored methods of farming over thousands of years, which we've rather forgotten, I think by taking heritage, Emma Einkorn, but mainly spelt, we've got there a very resilient crop that can survive in modern times, and it's really about bringing it to that wider audience, which is, I think, where we work together well. Mm -hmm, absolutely. We use a combination of heritage grains we're finding out exactly how good they are for you, for your gut, for your body. We're going back to the basics of baking. Obviously sourdoughs are so simple. Flour, water and salt, there's nothing else more to it. But as long as those ingredients are absolutely perfect, you can produce something truly incredible. So Sam, here we are. We've got a field of spelt growing in front of us. You can see it's coming up really nicely. It's fantastic. Um, We've carefully looked at the microbiomes in the soil and made sure that we're just tilling the top two to four inches and adding rather than subtracting and not trying to throw the weeds up from deep 12 inches down. So here we have where it comes in from store. We go straight into the de-husking process. We grate off the outside of the hull. And then here we come to the stone mill. Now the stone mill, it could have been the same thousands of years ago. So think back to Roman times or forever ago times, thousands and thousands of years. The most important thing on every recipe that we do here at the New is time. Time is our best friend. It's the first thing on the ingredient sheets. Something that's been taken away so much in modern bakeries. Here we give everything a long, slow prove overnight. So while I'm sleeping, you guys are sleeping. The bread's producing incredible flavors, slowly prove all night long to produce that fantastic taste that you get. So you've got everything on site. So local could not be more local. And that's how it should be. And I think watching it come through to a loaf with you guys, a sourdough loaf that's really been nurtured through is the key. <laughs>